On today's episode of The North American Journeyman, it's the final before the grand final. Maybe. We'll find out. All right, Punta Arenas. Saprisa so hasn't fired their coach yet, but I expect that will happen any day now. Um, Calderon's a little bit tired. Alvarez can come back in. Um, Jorge Torres is probably going to come in on this one. How do I want to line up here? Martinez is out. Played okay. Hall's in. We're going to play with the D-Med. I like that with David. Tach and Neves. You know what? We might rest Neves for this first one, just for Mongi. Mongi's crushing it in training. Uh, Mario's actually a little bit tired. And, sorry, Hara. Hara's out. For Torres. And, honestly... Mario's going to... No, 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 Mario's in. I thought Suarez was fully back, but he's still a ways off. So that's going to do there. And, yeah, things are going well. Um, let's talk to David one more time. Important player. Locking it in. Every time you lock it in, I walk away. I'll pay you $250,000 a year if you'll stick around, Mr. David. This guy's a monster. It's got a release fee of $1.4 million. 1.2 million, but he just won't budge. If somebody comes in for that, he's gone, which is unfortunate. But it would open up an international slot, but I really want to see how that guy's going to get on. So, let's beat Punta Arenas. I think we can do it. We're kind of the dominant team in the league. Jesus Cruz pretty decent a little 19 year old uh oh i'm aware of this guy gonzalez i thought yeah he was bought by saprisa the center back i thought about going in for him he's got a couple little holes in his game but he's definitely one of the better young costa rican center backs i decided not to pull the trigger i think they spent like 900k on him and loaned him back for the rest of the season. So Contreras, the free kick taker, grazes the crossbar. Good start, though. Really good start, actually. With the chances. Here we go. Attacking corner, Alvarez. He's got about six goals this season. That was close. Couple close little ciders early on in the game. I don't know, I'm excited for the save. So I'm playing a bunch. So I'm actually kind of getting ahead on things. So there's probably some things in real life, maybe, that I should probably be talking about in the world of football. But. I just, I don't know, I get ahead. I just get playing and then take a pause and then work on projects. And then it'd be nice to just kind of sit down and play a couple games in a couple days and then work on the episode and put them out or whatever. But I get working on these projects and I go, I don't have time for this. So good thing I need to, or I plan on getting a, a bunch of episodes of ahead and I don't know. It's weird. That's that was saved, was it? I thought it was blocked wide, but that was close. We're operating near their net, so we just need to break the seal here. I don't know. I just hope you guys are enjoying the save as much as I am. You know, it's kind of a little different. CONCACAF stuff gets no attention, so I'm all about bringing the love to the region because... CONCACAF Champions Cup is probably one of my favorite competitions to watch. Especially some of the 
low down early games where, you know, teams don't really have much of a chance. But, you know, maybe the, the gap isn't as big as some people believe, like between the Costa Rican teams and the Mexican teams or MLS and League MX and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we're here to put on display. Yeah, I was going to say, nice finish from Salazar, but he is offside. It's all right, let's encourage the boys because... Let's take a look at that again, because the pass is pretty. And he was it was close. The finish is really nice though. Salazar's looking at the lineman. Hey. Dang, look at all these chances. Holy. Come on, boys. Alright, they're trying to build out on the back. You know what that means? Don't let them. Don't let them. Impose yourselves. That's us all day. Alvarez through Toch. Play it to the right. Contreras takes the... I thought he was going to take the shot. He took the little touch to the byline. Plays it right into the feet. The tap in for Salazar. Anybody catch how many goals that was for Salazar? Has he hit 60 yet? Probably. We'll probably see another one before the season is out from old Salazar. Honestly, that's a position that we could really look to improve on because there's a couple guys. There's a Honduran with, or a Brazilian rather, with a Honduran second nationality who plays for Olympia. Who probably, there it is, 58, 58 for the season for Marlon Salazar. I mean, Salazar's good. He's got a lot of really good things about his, his game, but his like his finishing is only 12. Which is kind of shocking, but his penalty taking... Honestly, if he scored all of his penalties, he'd probably be... He's probably missed seven or maybe eight penalties this year. But he's also scored about 10, so... But I don't know. Do you go... Big in, like, that's it's the same way I feel about the goalkeeper. It's like, he's Costa Rican. He's good enough, and, I, and he's going to get better. So would it be smart to go in on a foreign player that's like, you know, four and a half star? Or, you know, full on five star potential? Because Solis is four and a half star potential. I get the feeling he's probably closer to four star. And Salazar has been only four star potential the whole time he's been here. I know star ratings are a bit like, you know, whatever. Like, how accurate are they? But they're a good barometer. Like, you know. Obviously, you look at the individual characteristics that are important. And the mentality and the, and the personality and blah, 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 blah. It's what, I mean... It is just is what it is. But as an overview, you can tell when somebody's like, yo, for this team, five star. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon. I think he's on. A Disallowed. I thought he was on. This is another real close one. No VAR in Costa Rica. Oh, I guess, yeah, he's, he's a shade off, it looked like. Is what it is. I mean, look at the XG difference. They have one shot. We are just the machine. I mean, don't look. Oh, that's pretty from Contreras. He scored, I think, that might be his fifth or maybe sixth of the year from free kicks. He's got about 50 caps for Costa Rica. I don't know where they play him, but he's, and honestly, he's not that good. Like, he's pretty good. Good pros, doesn't like big matches, that's annoying. Work rate, I guess, is an issue, yeah. But he's he's got these, like, you know, no attributes lower than eight or seven. Except for ones that don't really matter. 
defensively, he's basically a non-factor. But like, yeah, he's just, he's not great. But man, he is having a heck of a season. This is right where he should be playing. Fortunately, when we go to the CONCACAF Champions Cup, you know, we want a, a level above. Let's make some subs, eh? Salazar's got a little knock. Torres can come on. Gonzo, probably for David. It's where, like, should be closing up shot, but I go into a more of attacking approach. This needs to be fixed. Like, he is, he is the number 10. Attacking midfield. But because I changed it on the wrong screen or whatever, it says, no, he doesn't, he's ineffectual. Doesn't want, wrong, you're wrong. Sort it out, SI, that's literally the website, right? Sort it out, SI.com or .net or whatever. All right, let's, four, four changes might be a little hefty, but let's just wipe them off the face of the earth. So the second tie is basically a non-factor. Let's just, well, they're flooding numbers forward here. Are they gonna do something? Crossed in. Solis. Let that one slip through his little hands there, but we, we get away with that. And we're gonna score another goal. Slip the pass in, touch. No, nope, plays it out wide. Contreras crossed in. Rogero. Rogero. He could honest, honestly be the solution. I think anxious and lacking match fitness. You mean because he just got injured? I guess Villalobos can technically play this? Not really, though. Well, that changes my substitution plan. I mean, let's, let's praise the boys. It's what you'd come to expect. That was a shocking pass from Alvarez. Cross to Farnsworth. Professor Farnsworth plays for Punta Arenas. Look at that. Solis. I think we stick with Solis. There's a goalkeeper who's on a free, 27-year-old Brazilian, was playing for somebody. I'll look at him in, in the in between. Um, I think in Brazil, Atlético Paranaense. Is that how you say it? And he wanted about 200 k I think he got released by them. Didn't play really good for him. But he's basically been a free agent for like four months at this point. So we could bring him in. Good job, 4-0. Sorry, 3-0. Should have been 4. Um, Salazar, Twisted Sister, pulled ankle ligaments. Eh, it's okay. It's all right. Season's almost over. Nine key passes for Contreras. He's a striker, it says. Um, let's see. We'll take a look at the old short list. Um, yeah, there's a couple high potential guys here for sure. This is the center back. One of the center backs. This guy's the Montagua guy. He's just Honduran. I'd probably go for him, but he's inconsistent. There's, this is the goalkeeper, Leo Link. It says currently he'd want 180k. I think we could get him for a lot cheaper because he hasn't had a gig for quite some time. But consistent, big matches. Like, he looks pretty good, right? Okay, but honestly, compare him to Solis. Is he that much better? Yeah, he's a bit better. But Solis is kind of my boy at this point. And he's let in 64 goals. And he's only 5'11. I take a 6'5 goalkeeper with the mustache and a with the Zlatan Ibrahimovic face. Like that, any day of the week. I would like I'm 
considering it. But Solis is kind of my boy, you know what I mean? Uh, there's a couple other randos we're looking at. This guy who's South African that I don't really want to spend the money to scout, but we could. There's this striker who's the Brazilian with the Honduran second nationality who's unhappy, wouldn't have to spend a bunch of money, probably around $1.5 million. The center back, there's two Americans who are on amateur contracts who look like they have boatloads of potential. This guy, Philip Baumgartner, is the inside forward on the right. He looks good. I hate the low concentration and the inconsistency, though. Yeah, analysis, DNA, mentality doesn't look too great. Unfortunately, Danny Gonzalez, this guy I would spend $1.5 million on, at Atalanta, he's the one with the release fee if Atalanta got relegated, but they ended up finishing one spot above relegation in Mexico. So, I don't know. There's options. There's potential. God, Perez, this guy's been on my case all year long. He's got the Costa Rican second nationality. He plays for Nicaragua. I don't really play him much because he's kind of like a fifth choice, sixth choice center back even, and a third choice left back. Actually, fourth choice left back. So we'll keep him around for depth, but he's been wanting to leave. Oh, and we have a bunch of players on international duty. Oh, but I don't think it's any of the starters. I think it's the under-20 World Cup, actually. Yeah, it's none of our it's none of our main boys. This guy Gustavo Perez, who doesn't really play, and Yara, with the Costa Rican under or under twenties, who made the World Cup, under twenty World Cup. So that's cool. For Costa Rica, they're performing pretty well. I think they lost like in the semifinal to USA in extra time or something, and whatever competition that was. But things are looking good. Yeah, we'll do all this. Solis. Yeah, he actually has a decent foot. Avoid using weaker foot. Yeah, I don't... He's got a fairly strong left foot, so we actually do want to get rid of that. And Hilton Neves rounding the keeper, I don't care for it. He's a midfielder. We don't. If we played him as a number 10, maybe I would give him that trait, but... This guy does have business being transfer listed because I'd like to get a little money. And I think we can improve the center back position, so. Listen to me. Anyways, Martinez is gone. Um, oh, Yael Lopez. I don't remember if I told you that. But, but San Carlos actually came in for him for about 200k. So we decided to take it. He's a team leader, but he's 30 on 100k. And we, we never play him in the, in the right back position, so. Don't need him. Suarez can come on the bench. And you know what? We're going to start Torres. Contreras gets the start because he's a boss. Salazar's a little tired. Or he took the knock, rather. But we'll play David. Yeah, we'll play the we'll play the D mid role. Maybe via Lobos for Penuelos. And we'll actually take Penuelos out. For Calderon. Actually, I'm going to start Calderon. Because I like him. And they actually have a partnership. Eh, he's a little bit better. On the left. Yeah, that's going to do. We just got to hang on to a 3-0 win. I think I'm going to do it. You can tell my confidence because I'm just chatting away. Not really focusing on the task at hand. I'm just acting on instinct at this point. Away from home, Vargas, the number 10, we're aware of him, he's pretty decent. But today, we should lift some silverware. Hopefully. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Any of those guys that I showed you, is there, do you have any suggestions? Is there anybody that you're like, yo, that, that guy would help you out? I mean, we're so good, but just looking at that Toluca match, like what were, 
what were we missing exactly? Villalobos scores at the center back from the top of the box. Goals coming from everywhere. I think what we were missing was, honestly, Solis. But I think by the time we get there at the next se next season, I think he'll be capable to perform to a little bit higher standard than he did. I think if, if he would have just made one more save, Torres just ripping through the lines. That's what Torres does sometimes. He's got the capability to just burst through, go on a dribble, and score a great goal. So this left wing, I think it's kind of good. Mario and Contreras on the right, that's kind of good. Maybe one other sort of worldy winger that we could kind of rely on a little bit more would be the way to go. Or a goalkeeper or a striker, I just don't know. But I think the midfield is pretty well sorted. Obviously, if we could bring in that Danny Gonzalez who went off to Mexico and Atlanta. Obviously, we would go in for him because Gonzalez, who plays the number 10, is good. But that guy's like, he's going to be a starter for Costa Rica for his entire career. Johnson is in on goal. Yeah. 33rd goal of the year for Cameron Johnson for Punta Arenas, having a good season. I don't think they're going to turn around the tie, though. More of the same. But I'm... Thinking that next season might be a stretch for us winning the thing. It's going to be tough. It's the next objective up, winning the CONCACAF Champions Cup. And it might take a good three, four years here before we make it happen. So, Luckily, FM25 doesn't come out for quite a while, so... And I've got a lot of episodes. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you're not going to get bored with this. It is a journeyman, but this is the portion where it might get a bit grindy. But we've been so many places. We've been to Jamaica. We've been to Honduras. We've been briefly, you guys, me for quite a while, to Trinidad. We've been to... Um, Guatemala, Comunicaciones, I was there for a bit. Who do want to bring on? Neves, maybe? Yeah, Suarez can come in. And David's a little bit tired, so you know what we like to do? Go more attacking late. Hall's kind of dead. Incomplacent. Maybe we undo that. And go David, and we'll take Hall out for Gonzo. Mm, that's good for now. Mongi, I'm going to play a little bit longer. Contreras can come out, though, for Mario. So it is a journeyman, but we've got... I thought they were going to give that away. thought he jumped over it, but it was a little bit of a stamp. Let's see what Solis can do. Can he make the save? Nope, he dives the wrong way. And 2-2 two, two on the night. Three goal cushion. Go back to balanced. Ruggiero's not doing anything again. See if we, oh, Salazar is anxious. Why? What are you anxious about? The fact that he might not get to play? That he might not reach 60 goals? 
for the season? Salazar, I'm sorry. Were you trying to reach that? Was that a personal target you laid out for yourself? All right, late sub. Neves, I guess, from Mongi. Just praise one more time. Don't worry about it. Salazar. Would this be his 60th or his 59th? <sighs> that almost went in. That was a powerful shot. Have this. Have this one. Hooah! David with the attempted header. It's a goal kick. That should wrap it up. We're going to play on here a little bit. And this is kind of the club close to my heart, too. Because I went and saw him. Yeah, finished the job. Nice job. We'll take it. Now we see what happens. Because we're not raising silverware, even though we won the closing stage. So we qualify for the Super Copa. Closing stage final. 102 passes. Good job defensively. And he scored the goal. I should have said something about that. We win the treble. Opening stage, closing stage and the cup. Delighted with vision progress. Closing stage. 45%. They're disappointed. They're currently only on course to reach the grand final. Qualify for the Super Copa. Bonuses paid out. We pass this, still only a B. I think there's not a grand final. It's Perlaza. Oh yeah, they picked up this Colombian. He's okay, he's not better than our boys though. Um, I'm... Sort of confused. Okay, so the grand final thing just went away. This is closing phase, final rules. It says qualifies to the grand final, but I think there isn't one because we won both phases. Zero losses in a season is a new team low. We definitely lost. Here. And here. Only two times. Opening stage, we were undefeated. We set the record for number of league wins. Record high points total, just 110. I mean, we played 44 league games. Salazar sets the league rating, breaks the goal scoring record. He scored 39 goals in the league this season. 39. 10 in the Central American Cup, that's 49. Plus only five more? Oh no, plus five, plus four. Okay, so he missed it by two. So he scored, what, 58 goals? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. He doesn't, It's he just hasn't improved much, like, attribute-wise. Squad planning. So, if we look at this, past winners... So 28-29, we're on here four times for 28-29. So that's probably like the league and then the playoff and then the league and then the playoff. 27-28, 27-28, there's only three. 26-27, 26-27, 26-27, there's three. 
25, 26, there's three. I'm kind of confused. We have been dominant. but So if we look back at, let's say, let's look at, so 26, 27, Saprisa won. Let's see, 26, 27, Saprisa won the opening stage, right? So they won the opening stage, semi-final, and then the playoff final. They beat Arediano. And then in the closing stage, they played in the semifinal and lost. But we, let's see, we lost in the opening, or the semifinal. No, that's, Copa, that's Central American Cup. We lost in the Central American Cup. That's Champions Cup. They didn't even make it out of their group, it looks like. Opening stage. Oh, no, they did. Here it is. Premier Division. Semi-final, second leg, they lost. This is the cup. But then closing stage... They won in the... Closing stage final. But there's no grand final. But here, they played in the semifinal and went straight to the grand final. So I don't know exactly what, because the grand final does exist. But this season, none of our finals are considered grand finals. I think it's because if maybe the overall table hmm if we may if we made it through the semifinal of the closing stage but we weren't top of the overall table maybe then it would trigger a grand final I don't know. It doesn't matter. I mean, we're, we're, we crushed it. I think we're done for the year. So when we come back, it'll be the next season. It'll be through the transfer window. And it'll be probably the Supercopa. Introduce you to the new team and what we have planned. And then we're straight into the Central American Cup. And we'll probably go through at a bit of a quicker pace. Maybe we'll probably show you. Central American Cup quarterfinal, semifinal type action, but I mean, we're the dominant team in the region and we're ready to push on and make some Champions Cup plays. Get further than the quarterfinal. We can get the semifinal. We can beat anybody. But we got to get there. So we'll try. So thanks for watching. Please like, leave a comment. I appreciate you guys. You're awesome for watching the CONCACAF save. Cheering on Liga with me. Watch me go crazy. Talking about how we're going to make this team as dominant as possible. But this is the football manager mind at work. It's how it works. You just, it's a grind. It's grindy time. This is what I enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy it too. We will see you in the next season. Adios, my friends.